The leading water agencies briefed the Agriculture and Public Utilities Ministers on the available options to stave off a crisis of mammoth proportions brought on by the drought. As the situation deteriorates, Cabinet meeting on Thursday is reportedly considering declaring a state of emergency. The aim would be to rein in wasteful practices and encourage a stricter water conservation regime. We bring in two cabinet this afternoon some recommendations as to how we believe the government can manage the situation and following that uh, meeting of cabinet we would be making a more public announcement as to the measures that we are going to put in place. Meanwhile, officials are in talks with the hotel sector on measures to ease the burden on the water and sewage company. These options include the use of plants that make seawater safe for consumption through the desalination process. The authorities are also considering trucking water, portable treatment plants, and the reactivation of old reservoirs at Wavin Poisson and Vana to supply populated domestic areas. Public Utilities Minister Guy Joseph admits the cost implications are very high. The price tag on one portable treatment facility is estimated at one point three million dollars and these are some of the issues that cabinet would have to rule on as to how we deal with the whole situation in totality the shortfall in water also hurts wasco's bottom line because the company relies heavily on the revenue generated from supplying hotels with water the med service is the main advisory agency on weather patterns and according to director thomas august the long-term forecast for rainfall is very grim he says the dry spell could peak in March, but normal rainfall patterns will not resume until June. Although I'm um, looking at the short and mid-term projections, we don't think there's any big relief coming soon. We may get a few showers, but it won't be anything significant. The authorities are reportedly crafting the legislation that will guide the enforcement of the state of emergency should the need arise. Despite the dire predictions, officials concede the situation is manageable. They are urging public support as Wasco undertakes more austere rationing measures to preserve the limited supply of water. Winston Springer Jr., HDS News, Channel 4.